My name is Kevin Campbell. This is a short video describing my proposal for Art Prize 2013. The puzzle project was conceived as a work of art that could be added on to, could grow indefinitely. As it grows, pieces and groups of pieces are separated and treated as individual works of art. By joining sheets of plywood together edge to edge, a theoretically limitless surface is created. The work basically takes on the form of a large jigsaw puzzle. Some of the pieces look like traditional jigsaw puzzle pieces, you would recognize them as such, but many of the pieces uh, are not recognizable as jigsaw puzzle pieces, but they still fit together and are part of the whole. Now as all these pieces are being created, they're being sold off, they go all over the country. So the puzzle itself is never actually assembled. Parts of it are put together here and there, but there is a composite image that exists virtually, electronically. And ultimately, this composite image is the most important thing as far as the objective, the object. It's what shows how all these groups, how all these pieces fit together. It's the context creator. This work of art will be made from six sheets of plywood, creating a surface 24 feet by 8 feet. So it will be made up of 780 pieces. Each piece is painted with high gloss enamel such that it stands out from the pieces around it. Well, in addition to the work of art that hangs on the wall, there's also a poster that shows the composite image. And the composite image is really necessary for the viewer to see how this group fits in with everything that's been created previously. A video that describes the puzzle project and also this work, this installation for Art Prize. That video will also include a time lapse section of the creation of one of these six sheets of plywood where we follow that sheet all the way through the cutting, the painting, and the assembly. And we'll also include a group map, and this shows everything that's been created but the, the colors show how the pieces have been broken down into groups. Each color there represents a group, which, as it's being painted, is thought of as an individual work of art itself. 